Hello and welcome to Pop Along RC and today I'm talking about racing. Okay, so I need your help for this one. In the comments down below, please write drive, race or win. So if you think you are the sort of person that enjoys driving RC cars and having a laugh, write drive. If you are someone that has to win, has to win, write win. And if you are someone that just enjoys the buzz of a race, right race and let's see what we've got out there now there are some people out there that aren't massive fans of racing they just like driving cars and they might even buy the nicest cars available because they love the experience of driving high quality cars then you've got the racers they don't really care what they're racing as long as they are in a close battle with their mates or with people at the club and then you've got your winners the guys that will do anything to win a race and if they don't win they go home unhappy now for me personally um i've done some winning in the past but i'm a better loser than i am a winner do you know what i know we've started on this journey with our touring cars and hopefully you're following the series that we're making with the, the touring cars but I don't want to lose what we have with the uh, TTO1 racing. Now, the reason I like the TTO1 racing is at the clubs that I've got locally, I'm almost guaranteed a close race. Most of these I haven't actually documented because I'm just too busy having fun racing. However, I was fortunate enough to have young Charlie at hand to help film some of the racing over at Milton Keynes recently. Um, and we've got some footage of some of the close racing that I had over there. I actually, I love my Sunday mornings over at Milton Keynes, not only because my son gets to drive, but because it's a friendly atmosphere, it's nice and chilled out, we get plenty of track time, and do you know what, the racing's close. Both this, this week and last week that I went there, I have had battles on the track where we've been separated by less than a second at the uh, end of the race, which for me is just what I'm aiming for really. Super close racing where we're bumping paint, rubbing wheels and having a real good laugh. Little bit of banter in between and uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. Last week there were three of us going around pretty much shell to shell and this week was the same again. There was three of us all finishing really close together. So for me, it's all about the racing. But are you a racer or are you a winner? Are you the sort of person that will do absolutely anything to make sure you win on the day? Um, are you going to be doing everything in your power to get your car performing at its optimum level? Uh, there are some people out there that will take a lot more pleasure in having a clean race. Everyone gets out their way when they come through to lap and they, all they want to do is get TQ and win. Um, for me, I've run in a few races with some relative beginners and i have run away with it and i've been two three laps ahead at the end of the race but for me it's not quite the same as being in the tussle sharing paint and uh, bumping tires so for me i'm definitely a racer so there are different types of winners though there are some winners who are just amazing drivers they have got the skills they've got the know-how and they win races based on those two things. There are other winners out there that maybe aren't the best racers in the class, however, they have the nicest car. So they are performing really well because they've got the best car in the race. Then there are the benders. The guys that like to bend the rules ever so slightly, they're not breaking the rules. They don't break the rules, they just bend them right to the limits so that they're getting absolutely everything out of that car and although they get the win and they go home happy maybe it's taken a little bit out um, taken away from some of the close racing that could be had and then, then there is another type of winner who will let's say what's the word sandbag his heats to ensure that he qualifies in a lower final so therefore he can take the easy win and uh, win the trophy they exist as well and uh, do you know what that's not my thing for me I want to just get around the track the best I can in every race if I get a trophy bonus but I'm not that fast as I say it's all about the racing 
and having a close battle. Why do I love club racing so much? Well, do you know what? It's got a little bit of everything. The clubs that I race at, they've got the touring cars for the fast boys. They've got a beginner class for the beginners. And somewhere in the middle, they've got the class for the racer. At Aylesbury, it is definitely the Mar Dave Minis with up to 15 people all running pretty much the same car and the lap times are really even. Um, for us though, the TTO ones, can't go wrong with those. I know Stevenage is another club that has got lots of TTO one drivers and we must pop along there soon. I'm a, I'm a club racer. I enjoy the banter, the laughs and meeting up with mates every week for a bit of a battle on the track. So what classes are the best for racing? Well, I suppose that all depends on what classes are run at your local club. Um, so comment down below with your local clubs and what classes are run there and hopefully we can spread the word and get more people out racing soon. Until the next time, stay safe peeps.